A big thank you to SEO Press for sponsoring today's video. SEO Press is an exceptional WordPress SEO plugin that boosts your website visibility. On search engines, if you want to upgrade your SEO game, visit seopress.org today. WordPress 6.6 .6 is coming out in a few weeks time and here are my top five updates heading your way. One of the biggest updates that WordPress has had in years are pattern overrides. They're a little bit hard to explain, but essentially you can create a pattern centrally, have that pattern display on multiple pages on your site, a thousand pages if you like, make changes on those patterns on each individual page, but then change the design centrally and have that new design filter down. Let me explain. So here's a pattern that I've created. It's a very simple card layout, and this is currently being used on two of my pages, but it could be being used on a thousand pages. So this one over here in the top right called Summer Holiday, and you can see it's a two column layout. And this one down here called Winter Holiday, and you can see that's a three column layout, but they are both using this pattern that I've created centrally. But two interesting things to note. One is it's got different columns. So this component is being used in multiple contexts. And the second thing is we've got different text on each card, which obviously makes sense. But what we can do now, which is what we couldn't do before, which is really profound, is we can change the design centrally. So I'm gonna change the background color here and we can have that filter down to each instance where that pattern has been used within my site. So if I refresh each of these now, you will see that the design has completely changed on each of those patterns where it's being used. And let's say you wanna radically change the design. Well, you can do that. You can just jump into the pattern, completely change the background color, the button colors, the heading colors, the heading sizes, everything. Just update it and then it'll instantly update on every instance where that's been used. But what's more, you can also add additional blocks into that central pattern design and have those filtered down into every instance where it's been used. So you can see here, I've added a brand new block, the paragraph block, which is the date 2024 into my central pattern, I've saved that. And now when I reload those other patterns that have been used on my other pages, you can see how that new block shows. One of the missing pieces we've had in WordPress has been a really good layout block. But now in WordPress 6.6, .6, we have the brand new grid block. And this is how it works. So to add the brand new grid block, just type forward slash grid as your shortcut. That's going to start you off with the grid container. Now I'm just going to add a block within that that I've pre-designed. And that is essentially just a group block that I've added some other blocks to just so we can see some stuff. If I select the grid block at the top here, you can see I can change the width. So I might say this wide width, so I want it a bit wider. And then in here, I'm actually just gonna duplicate these a few times so we can actually see something a bit more exciting. I'm just working quickly so I can get on. So I've added six blocks identical here. You can see them here. If I select the grid container at the top here, you'll see over on the right in the block settings, I have some limited options. The CSS grid spec is a mighty beast. So this is like a simplified version of it, but it's enough, I think, for most layouts. You can see over here, we've got two different types of layout, auto or manual. If I click manual, I can actually select the number of columns. Auto means they'll auto resize depending on the value you put in the minimum column width here. So if I change this to, let's say 300 pixels, you'll see the columns will naturally organize themselves because that's what they're set to resize to. This is fantastic for responsive as well. So I could change this to 500, for example, and that's the width I get, but I don't have to go into each one and change it. I can just change this value at the top level here and they'll all correspondingly change. One of the big advantages of CSS Grid is how well it works on different devices. For example, if I set the minimum column width here to 300 pixels, that's what we get on the desktop view, but that's also what we get on the tablet view up here. Let's switch to that view. Now you see we've gone to two column, but each column is maintaining its minimum width of 300 pixels. Also, if I go to mobile, you'll see it stacks into one column, but each column is still 300 pixels wide. The CSS grid block also comes with the ability to span rows and columns. If you select one of the children of the main container block and then come across here to styles, you'll see we've got column span and row span. So if I want this one to span two columns, I can just change that value and it spans accordingly or three columns and it spans accordingly. You can also span rows as well. Just select the block you want to span, come across to your block styles and you'll see this option down here that says row span and just change that and the row will span. In WordPress 6.6, .6, there is also a really cool way to visually drag and resize your rows and columns, just like so.
What you can see on your screen is a brand new zoomed out view. I really love this. I hope this comes to 6.6. It's still being worked on, so it's not 100% clear it'll make it into 6.6, but you zoom out and then you can move the patterns up and down. So it's a great way to easily construct pages. I'm really, really happy about this next one. Finally, we have negative margins coming to WordPress. You can see on your screen how I'm using this in the columns block to have a negative margin on the right hand column to push that paragraph block across to the left. And you can see here some examples of the type of things you can do with negative margins. Also, WordPress 6.6 .6 will allow theme authors to define style options for sections of multiple blocks, including inner blocks. So with just a few clicks, users of block themes with this feature can quickly change the styles of a page section to predefined options. WordPress 6.6 .6 is also going to include a whole bunch of user interface improvements and also some big performance improvements as well. It's due to come out on July the 16th, and if you want to have a play with it, I put a link down in the description to a one-click website with the beta installed so you can have a play of all the latest and greatest improvements. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and found it useful, if you could hit that like button down below now, it would be amazing because it does make a huge, 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 huge difference in terms of how many people actually get to see this video. So thank you if you can hit that like button. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Thanks for watching. Keep well and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.